I saw a post from a fellow farmer this week that really struck home for me. They were discussing the supposedly high cost of food sold at the farmer's market as opposed to a Costco or a supermarket chain. This is a common complaint that I also hear from customers, even at my own local farmer's market, and it's one that I would like to take the time to address. Make no mistake, it is hard work to produce food. Farming is incredibly labor-intensive, and most farmers barely make a living wage these days. Many of them, myself included, have to hold down second jobs just to make ends meet. The supposedly high cost of that farm-fresh food reflects the hard work that went into producing it, including, though sometimes not even completely covering, gas to bring it to the market, farmer's market vendor fees, equipment breakdowns and repairs, labor, etc., That doesn't even cover the additional time and energy that goes into such things as prepping the beds for planting, constant weeding, mulching, dealing with the never-ending onslaught of garden pests, creating and applying compost, and more. There are so many facets of growing produce that often get overlooked or not even factored into the argument. Price is the end result, and sometimes the only detail that people see, which can be deeply frustrating to those of us who work hard to grow high-quality produce for our communities. Any farmer will tell you that farming is most assuredly not a quote-unquote get-rich scheme. Most of us do it because we love it, love working with the land and the soil and watching things grow from small seeds into green plants. It's pure edible magic, but that magic comes at a price which generally involves long hours, backbreaking labor, and constant equipment repairs. When you buy directly from a local small farmer, you're putting a larger percentage of every dollar back into the farmer's own pocket, as opposed to mostly lining the pockets of a middleman when you buy at the grocery store. You're also supporting a more mindful form of agriculture, whose costs are up front as opposed to the more hidden societal costs that that supposedly cheaper grocery store industrial agriculture produces, like land degradation, healthcare issues, animal welfare, and more. These days, the average American family only spends 10% of its income on food, and that's down significantly from the 30-plus percent of the 1950s and earlier. Food is cheaper, and we have more disposable income, meaning that we could spend more on food if we chose to. So, the next time you start to gripe at a local farmer for what they're charging for their produce, consider everything that went into producing that fruit or vegetable, like labor, time, equipment, fuel, as well as everything that did not land degradation, impaired health from pesticides, livestock and laborer welfare.